Well, um, as you can see, there's a fair amount of uh, paint on the canvas now, um, which is always good. Um, I don't really use a huge amount of paint, but I do like to get as much on as quickly as possible. Really. Um, what I want to talk about now is softening edges and blending, um, but keeping the body of the uh, of the cloud. Um, circular movements, um, pushing is a term that I tend to sort of use quite a lot, um, and by that we basically mean um, if I'm adding some white uh, and I want to develop this edge here, I would literally push it into the other colour. Um, it might, I might not get the desired effect, but you know, it's uh, it's trial and error sometimes. Um, sometimes you're lucky. Um, one of the students. Um, mentioned some time ago the business of happy accidents and uh, I think that's a, a perfect description sometimes and this is another reason why people need to stop and look at what they're doing on a regular basis. I spend an awful lot of time in the studio walking backwards and forwards um, to see um, what difference the last few strokes, half dozen strokes or whatever um, have made. Um, and I think that's incredibly important. I can't stress enough how, uh, how important that you actually uh, stop and look at your work and uh, keep moving away. So uh, I'm adding, trying to add a bit more detail now. I'm keeping things as soft as I can. I'm still using quite big brushes um, to blend um, and then periodically going from one brush to the next. Um, this, um, this nice big round ended brush. I'm um, not even sure what it's called, to be perfectly honest, but uh, you can find these sort of things in most decent art shops. Um, it's quite big, it's a 10 of whatever it is, um, round-ended brush, quite stiff, um, and that will uh, really help me blend some of the colour. Um, as far as building um, the edges of clouds is concerned, I'll often work from quite away from the edge and push towards the edge. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to have a go at uh, just um, slightly altering the edge of this cloud a little bit. So just by I'm picking up paint that's already on the canvas and just pushing into the blue. And that will naturally pick up some of the wet blue and soften the edge quite nicely. And will give you shadow. And uh, it often works quite nicely. So... Uh, Work the whole canvas. Um, it's important that you keep looking and looking around the canvas. Don't get obsessed with one particular area. Um, it's very easy to be uh, to be bogged down by small areas of canvas. Um, and when the viewer comes to see the picture, um, they see the whole painting. They don't see the bit that you obsessed over, and um, they're looking at the whole thing. That's a good tip. Look at the whole painting.